When an actor walks in the room, what, what do you think is the most important advice you could give him? I think to be off book is the most important thing. Um, there, there are, I guess there are, there are times when you simply, you're going to be handed the pages at the last minute or many times there's, there'll be a, a mistake will have been made, there'll be an actor will have been sent the wrong sides, you know, that happens. Because it certainly is hard to give a performance if you're, you know, if you're reading the words. But if you do get the script at the last moment, try not to just, re I mean, if, you, if you're just gonna, if you're going to do this, there's no point in even in doing the audition because, you know, we, we all know what we can read. So know. this is an advice for me to actors is there is no reason not to take a cold reading class because that's exactly what a cold reading will teach you is that you can keep the intention of the scene going, looking down, but looking up. And if you have to cry or if there's some strong emotion, you can go with it. But so what actors often do is they'll, they'll look at it and then they'll go, and I know this whole section, and then drop out to look at the line. And that dropping out ruins the flow. And with comedy, it's so important because you yes. have, it's, there's, a, there's a, a rhythm to, it, to, a, yes. to a comic scene. There's a, a pacing and a music to it. Make sure you're not just like hitting the scene on one note and riding that note through the scene. I mean, you've got, you've got to find... The, the conflict, the, the pain, and the, the music. Struggle. I mean, literally, it's like uh, you know, speeding up and slowing down, a little bit louder, a little softer. If I if if I were going to audition, I would do my my homework the same way. I'd be at I'd be choosing what's the what's the best verb for every every beat. And if I see that I'm that I'm being redundant, I I go back and change it up. You know. So all those kinds of verbs are ways of approaching getting what you want in the scene. For being very specific with your word choice, you know. Using a thesaurus, using a dictionary, you know, reading dictionaries, great, great exercise for everybody involved in drama, you know. There's a book that I actually give my students and encourage them to get is um, a book of verbs, yes. Acti active verbs, because there's a big difference between being, uh, be happy, it's too general, Right. who can do that? And, and that's what's also tricky once you get on the set when, when directors are under pressure and they say faster, funnier. I would never phrase it that way, because it's, but I would definitely pick up the pace. And then the actor has to fill that in with what it means. What's the urgency to pick up the pace? Which is another reason to be, familiarize yourself with the dictionary and grow your vocabulary because you're going to get shitty notes. So you have to be able to translate a bad note into an active verb. Oh, and, and I'm guilty too. Under pressure, I will give a, a, an actor a line reading. You have to hit this word here. You've got to. I never give a line reading uh, unless an actor asks for it. And I'm always terrified when they do ask for it because I'm a terrible actor. I don't want to screw them up. But um, I can see the efficacy of getting a, a line reading. Just, just so you, like if you can't phrase it, if you're having trouble, it's like, well, what am I looking for? I could, well, just let me hear it. Like, how would you, and, you just, and you say the line. A, an actor who's smarter than I am can can hear that and like, okay, I, I see what you're going for. It's this. Yes. Hi, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe, follow, and share with your friends. Also, my book will be coming out later this year and it's titled Auditioning, What They Say When You Leave the Room.